was a kingdom in the Brahmaputra Valley in Assam, India. It is well known for maintaining its sovereignty for nearly 600 years and successfully resisting Mughal expansion in northeast India. Established by Sukhapa, a Thai prince from Mong Mao, it began as a Mong in the upper reaches of the Brahmaputra based on wet rice agriculture. It expanded suddenly under Suhungmung in the 16th century and became multi-ethnic in character, casting a profound effect on the political and social life of the entire Brahmaputra Valley. The kingdom became weaker with the rise of the Moamoria Rebellion, and subsequently fell to repeated Burmese invasions of Assam. With the defeat of the Burmese after the First Anglo-Burmese War and the Treaty of Gandabo in 1826, control of the kingdom passed into East India Company hands. Though it came to be called the Ahom Kingdom in the colonial and subsequent times, it was largely multi-ethnic, with the ethnic Ahom people constituting less than 10% of the population toward the end. The 1901 Census of India enumerated approximately 179,000 people identifying as Ahom. The latest available census records slightly over 2 million Ahom individuals however, estimates of the total number of people descended from the original Thai Ahom settlers are as high as 8 million. The total population of Assam being at 31 million according to the 2011 census, they presently constitute slightly over 25%. The Ahams called their kingdom Mong Dun Shun Khan, Assamese, Zunur Exifura, English, Casket of Gold, while others called it Assam. The British-controlled province after 1838 and later the Indian state of Assam came to be known by this name. Topic. History The Ahom Kingdom was established in 1228 when the first Ahom King Chao Lung Su Ka Pha came from Long Mao, which is now included within the Dahong Dai and Jingpo Autonomous Prefecture of Yunnan in People's Republic of China and entered the Brahmaputra Valley, crossing the rugged Pukai mountain range. He was accompanied by his three queens, two sons, several nobles and their families, other officials and families, and soldiers totaling more than 9,000 persons. He crossed the Putkai and reached Namrup, Namrup on 2 December 1228 and occupied a region on the south bank with the Burhidine River in the north, the Dikau River in the south and the Putkai Mountains in the east. He befriended the local groups, the Barahi and the Marans, finally settled his capital at Charadeo and established the offices of the Dongarians, the Burhagohane and the Borguhane. In the 1280s, these two offices were given independent regions of control, and the check and balance that these three main offices accorded each other was established. The Ahams brought with them the technology of wet rice cultivation that they shared with other groups. The people 